Libraries are wonderful, but they're just one of the tools you should be using. Most universities have a wealth of academic resources that are available, and it's usually not lack of resources that's the problem. It's lack of awareness or use. So we sat down with an academic advisor and we talked to her about how best to locate these resources and how best to use them. So what should a student know about resources at a, at a large university? That resources really are everywhere, and taking advantage of them is something that all students do, mm -hmm. and particularly really good students are using resources all of the time. Mm -hmm. I think it's a common misconception that I shouldn't use a resource until I'm struggling or until mm -hmm. I'm experiencing trouble in my class, but thinking about what can I learn from using a resource right off the start. So how does a student learn about those resources? How do they search this out? I would start by talking to faculty. I think that's a great place to start. They'll be mm -hmm. able to refer you to any tutoring centers or study labs that are related to the discipline that you're studying or the discipline that you want to learn more about. Mm -hmm. Talking to TAs or teacher's assistants to learn mm -hmm. more about the student experience on yeah. campus. Mm -hmm. Asking questions too. Mm -hmm. When you're visiting with a faculty member, when you're visiting a study lab, ask that person there, hey, where else do you think I should go? Yeah. What's another resource that could be available to me on this campus related to the issues I'm having? Yeah. What I really like about that is this notion of asking the next question, because no faculty member, no individual staff member knows all the resources out there, or even the ones that are best for you. So I, I really like that process. But it, we've talked about some of those faculty resources, those class resources. What else is out there? I think one of the biggest things someone can do is learn from their peers. Mm -hmm. So find out what maybe clubs and organizations are around. Mm -hmm. For example, pre-professional clubs, pre-med clubs, pre-law mm -hmm. clubs, pre-business clubs, right? Mm -hmm. These are students that perhaps have more experience with classes, have more experience with community events that might be happening mm -hmm. outside, and can connect you to that student life and discipline experience. Great. As you're thinking about all these different resources, what's a, what's a good general framework to approach them from? I think framing it in terms of buckets is something I always <laughs> like to talk about, right? So think about what would I want to learn? What would I want to say about my experience before I left the university? Yeah. So if you're not necessarily in a major related to computer science, but you're interested in studying that field or working in that field, thinking about where could I take a free coding class mm -hmm. online? Mm -hmm. Maybe you take some art classes and think about how can I incorporate design from my art class into work that I'm doing perhaps for the school newspaper or something mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. that. Thinking about what outside experience with an internship or student clubs, like we mentioned before, mm -hmm. that would allow me to build my resume and say, look at all these skills, look at all these things that I've accomplished while I've been here, mm -hmm. to tell a complete picture. Great. Modern universities offer so many great resources. Uh, you should be talking to your professor, talking to your TA, getting recommendations about where to go next. Um, your time at college is so much more than merely the classes that you take, and you would be remiss if you missed out on all these great academic resources and academic opportunities.